Okay, we'll start with the Partridge uh, Patriot Barbless Check Nymph, size 10. And this is a 3.5mm tungsten slotted bead. We've got Shear 40 naught, And we'll just get our tying thread on. And if you put your... This is a good way of locking off the slotted bead. Put your thread in the actual slot of the bead and go around. Just take your time. When it builds up it'll stop and, and sit uh, secure. Nearly there. There we go. And then I can go back and get rid of that. We want to go about there. So then we want some Coq de Lyon. And we just pull these out 90 degrees to the stem and pull them off. That will level up the points. And we want a short tail. That's too long. Move that up. There we go. We'll just work our way back. To there. We can trim off those. Like so. And this is a short length of nib nymph skin. You cut the end at an angle. So we can tie this in just at the tail base, oops, like so, and then we can go up, just secure that, and go up here, and now what I want to do is just a quick taper on the body, so it gets wider towards the Head. There we are. Now we go. Put that down. Hold this in position. And we'll just get that first turn in. And then we can hold it in position with each turn or wrap. Probably to get thick up here. And another one there. And then we can tie that off. Once that's secure, we can stretch the new skin. Trim it off, secure that nicely there, take a waterproof marker, what we do is just little down each side, on the top like that, I need a little bit of wax. Some hairs here, dubbing, this wants to be spiky. Just make our collar, we can pull some of this out afterwards, I like to put more on. We can pull it out afterwards and then we'll take our Whip finisher, tighten it up, trim it off, and then brush out 
the fibers. And that's the finished rubber grub. Great grailing pattern for this time of year. If you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.